Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Irene Yuji. Today I will be talking about Kora Obidi, the trending news. The incident between Kora and Dr. Justin has been the recent online trading news where a husband, Dr. Justin, decided to walk away from his marriage with Mrs. Cora after welcoming their second daughter. According to Dr. Justin, he said he still loved his family. He did not intend walking away, but he's walking away because of his mental health. There is something I read about him where he said, when a man complained, he become the problem. But when a woman complained, she will be celebrated. I'm not living in the house with them. You are not living in the house with them. Only both of them knows this recent issue that cannot be rectified, especially this period, this new innocent child is involved. I'm not going to blame Cora. I'm not going to blame Dr. Justin. Because we've me, that is we have uh, known that Dr. Justin is hot. So many people said Cora does not feel it. No, let me tell you something. Two wrongs can never make a right. She has been ignoring, does not mean she did not feel it. She will feel it. She's a human being. Do you know the, the, the what they have portrayed outside? People assuming that these are the happy family. People want to emulate them. You see why it's very wrong for you to say, I want, want to be like this person. I want to always pray to be like yourself. Always wish yourself. I wish I could be myself. Work on yourself. Be a perfect version of yourself. Not always saying, I wish I could be like someone. Then if the person turns out the opposite, people will come to trouble. This, their incident, is also a lesson to other women outside. I've been reading comments. I've been glancing through things. I've discovered that most people, most people, the most of this, their, this, their issues, most people are not really, really happy that they're having issues. Why some people are having, are so, that is, they are so happy. Because when you read through the comment, you discover that this person will blame this person and use another account. The, the person will go and open a different account to praise the woman. What are we doing? Are we wishing them well or are we wishing them bad? This whatever that happened to them could be for anyone which I do not pray for. I don't pray for anybody to, that witness that is that will witness this thing that is happening to them. I don't wish anyone like that. Cora, the, the best advice I could give to you, despite I don't know you, is this. Whatever that might be the case, wherever you are guilty, swallow the pride. Call his attention. His children need him. No matter how much you will claim that you are going to work and take care of them, they need their dad. And Justin, whatever that is motivating you if it is something you're reading online according to you you said he she once cheated she once cheated but you guys decided to you decide to forgive and move ahead meaning the issue you're having with her is not all about cheating you say she wants not that she was cheating you say she once cheated meaning that the issue between both of you are not about she cheating and many people has been taking this oh she's a cheater she has been cheating on his husband this he said she once cheated and they forgive him and why did that man say that because many people has been bashing him oh you claim you forgive you did not forgive him you forgive her if you have forgiven her you wouldn't have said it no it is because he read so many things they are human beings they are human beings. Water and blood flows into, in, into uh, through their uh, vein. He read something online where people were claiming that Cora was a cheater. 
that Kora was sleeping around. So he came to clarify it that it is not all about that, that she was cheated and they have moved ahead. So guys, please, let's stop complicating issues. Let's stop creating unnecessary, unnecessary drama into this marriage. Let's stop causing them more harms than they have, they are facing. Please, let's stop misinterpreting what they said. I know this is why Cora has find it difficult to come outside to speak. Because she might say something, the way she say it is not how it will be interpreted. Meanwhile, everybody should understand that these two people has never said the cause of their problem. The man only said, I have been the one sustaining this marriage since 2018. And I also read in a comment section where somebody said, since 2018, and you waited until she put to bed, listen, there are things we need to understand. He has been sustaining the marriage does not mean that we are divorced. He has been trying to put up his best to see whether they can stay. As a husband and a wife, they intend to sleep with each other. On that process, a pregnancy occurs. Are you telling me that the man should walk away? No. It's only a foolish man that will discover that and walk away. That woman could, something could go wrong on that process if the man walk away. Then what do you intend the man to say? Tomorrow the, the case will turn against him. Guys, please, let's use our number six. Cora, please, you are reading too much online. You are reading too much online. Slow down, my dear. Slow down. All these people that are advising you, most of them are not married. Most of them, their marriage is not better. But they have turned themselves as a relationship expert or expertress. I don't know what, which one to target. Just because it happened to you and just because you're giving room to that. Please, mellow down. Even your husband also need to slow down. You guys are reading so much online. You guys are reading advices from so many angles, the right and the wrong ones. You guys are confused. You don't know what to do at this present moment. You guys should slow down. I will not ask you not to leave social media if it is where your income is coming from, but... I will ask you to lay low a bit, slow down on social media and ignore some messages. Pray to God, no marriage is perfect. No marriage is perfect. There is ups and down. There are disputes. But I will ask both of you, for the sake of this innocent child, innocent child that newly arrived, can you people give a second chance? But if it is something you cannot give a second chance, please, I will not force you people to stay with each other for safety purposes.